Okay, so this is quite common in the in the royal families. Yes, is there any questions? Um, so can you please tell people to mute? Please? Tell people to mute. Yes, please, guys. Um, let me see. I'm going to mute all. I'm muting everybody. Okay. Thank you. Just, okay, I've muted everyone. I'm just taking a look at who's also joining quickly. Um, I'm trying to, uh, I'm hoping it it's working. The first time I'm recording a meeting, but I am recording the meeting, so I will try and post the recording as well afterwards. Okay, so question two. Queen Victoria of Britain was the world's most famous carrier of hemophilia. It's called bleeder's disease. It's also sex linked. They tell you it's sex linked. So what you need to remember here is that um, when you see color blindness and when you see hemophilia, you know those two diseases are sex linked. Be careful to make everything sex linked uh, when, when, we, when we do these pedigree diagrams. Um, when it's color blindness, it's sex linked. When it's hemophilia, it's sex linked. Any other case, they will tell you it's sex linked. Okay. Then, her children spread the gene fairly widely through the royal families of Europe, Prussia and Russia, at the end of the 1800s. Indicate the possible genotypes of each of the people below. So I'm only going to indicate those with names. Now, this is quite a common example. And the reason why this happened, why this gene survived, is because if you were a prince, we had to marry a princess. And when you were a princess, you had to marry a prince. So what happened is they, they continually married among one another. So you married your cousin or your uh, cousin twice removed or whatever. Um, and so this is why this scenario, this is why bleeder's disease is so common amongst the royal family still today. Let's take a look at how we are going to write the genotypes. X capital H means that they are not affect, affected by bleeder's disease. Okay, X capital H, that's the dominant gene. No problem. The problem lies with X small letter H. That says hemophilia. With hemophilia, um, they're going to have bleeder's disease. And then, of course, why from daddy? Okay, I just want to quickly copy something here. Just want to copy the Punnett square because we're going to need it. There we go. Smaller, there we go. Okay, now, okay, so let's start with Albert. Albert is not affected. He was lucky he's not affected. And now I know because Albert's not affected, he's got a capital H, the dominant. I know he's got a capital H because the Y doesn't make up for the small letter H. Um, that's there, so I know he's a he's a male, so he's got to be X Y because he's a, a he's a block, not a circle. Queen Victoria, I know she's got a capital H because she's not affected, but she did carry the disease to Leopold, who's over there, and so she had to have a small letter H as well. A small letter H as well. Okay, then let's take a look at Edward over there. Edward, lucky, he's got a capital H. I know that because he's not affected. And just quickly, just I uh, see there's some messages coming through. Just want to double. Um, no, okay, it's none of you, so it's fine. Okay, so. Edward, he's got a Y because he is a, a male, so he's XY. 
Alice, okay? So Alice is a female. She's got two X's. She's not affected. So she definitely has a capital X because she's not affected. But let's take a look. Oh, uh, look over there. She's got a son. She has a son. And her son is affected. And because her son is affected, I know that she is a carrier. So small letter H for her as well. Big H, small H. Leopold is affected. That's an easy one. So I know he's got a small letter H. He's a male. So he's got a Y. Beatrice. Beatrice passed it on to two of her sons. So I know she's got a small letter H. But she's not affected. So she's also got a big letter H. Let's go to George. George the fifth and George the sixth. Okay, so with George, Edward was not affected, and he's not affected either. Neither is George the sixth. And they're both males, so they got a capital H for the X, and they got a Y because they are males. There we go. Let's take a look at Valdemar. Valdemar is affected. So he has to have a small letter H. He's a male. So he has to have a Y as well. Let's go to Heinrich. Heinrich is affected. So he's got to have a small letter H. And he's got to have a Y because he's a boy. He's a male. Alexis. Now that sounds like a girl's name. But he's a boy. Because it's a rectangular block. So and he's affected. So he's got a small letter H and he's got a Y. Two people to go, Alfonso and Gonzalo. Sounds very Italian, Italian side of the family. So both of them affected, both of them have small letter H's. Thank you Beatrice for giving them the small letter H. And then a Y and a Y because they are both males. And that finishes everybody. That finishes everybody. Just giving you a moment to take a look at the diagram. And just copy or correct whatever you needed to correct. Okay, as I said, I'm, I'm, I am recording, hopefully. First time using the recording function on this. And I will be posting the video afterwards. Um, and I'll, po I'll, I'll post the, the answers as well, a picture of the answers afterwards as well. Okay, let's go on to the, the last one. Okay, last question is an easier one because